welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call this healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the Bright Side. We welcome your calls at 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. 660-4261. Try to get on board early. The phone lines fill up quickly, and we do try to get to as many calls as possible at 855-660-4261. If you want to learn more about the Longevity products, the ones you hear advertised on the program and the ones we recommend, you can head over to brightsideben.com, take a look at our shopping cart. We have up all we have all the Longevity products up, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder that you add to water and drink. It's a wonderful source of vitamin K and vitamin E, hard to absorb vitamin A and vitamin D. It's got water-soluble vitamins, amino acids, chondroitin, MSM, a truly a cornucopia of nutrients for just 50 bucks a canister. If you haven't tried this stuff yet, give it a shot. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business and enjoy all the benefits associated with having your own business, including tax benefits. You can write off your mileage. You can write off samples. You can write off product. You can write off your home office for a one-time $10 fee. And on top of all of that, you can help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program, not to mention getting your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and your other longevity products at the wholesale price. They can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. Or you can click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. And don't forget to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. We update it regularly. I just did a post on weight loss. Hopefully that will be up today. Later on this week, we'll have a couple more posts for you at pharmacistben.com. All right, welcome once again to the Bright Side, friends. A few more things I want to say about the health benefits of vitamin K. We'll probably talk about that for the next day or two, and then we'll move on to our next bone-building supplement. Not just for bone building, vitamin K and all these things we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks now actually the last couple of months, are not just about osteoporosis. They're not just about bone building. We've been focusing on osteoporosis. We've been focusing on bone building. But the main point that I'm trying to make with all of these wonderful building nutrients, phosphorus and, and, and sulfur and vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin K, the main point I want to make for you guys is that all of these nutrients that are so important for bone building are important for building in general, for building everything in the body, for building muscle, for building neural tissue, for building heart tissue, for building skin tissue. Building is building is building. Anabolism, that's the fancy way of saying building. If you're dealing with osteoporosis, you're dealing with a breakdown disease. Your body's breaking down. It doesn't matter that it's breaking down in the bones. It doesn't matter if it's breaking down in the skin or in the heart. It probably is, folks. Nobody just has one disease. Nobody just has one form of degeneration. We've been focusing on osteoporosis, but even if you're not dealing with bone degeneration, in a blatant form, for most of 
us as the aging process kicks in, we're dealing with breakdown diseases. Building is building is building and breakdown is breakdown is breakdown and it doesn't matter from the point of healing anyway, from the point of regeneration, where the breakdown is occurring. All we need to do, no matter what kind of degenerative disease we're dealing with, no matter what kind of degeneration the body is dealing with, all we got to do is feed the body and keep the poison out, breathe correctly, exercise a little bit, and rest a lot. And folks, that's it. The medical model doesn't want you to know this. Or they don't know this. It couldn't be much easier. Health and wellness couldn't be easier, folks. You feed the body, you breathe the body, you keep the poison out, you exercise a bit, and you rest a lot, and that's it. The human biological system, listen up, this is so important. The human biological system, the human body, is designed to heal and regenerate and thrive. But we have created a world and a psychology in our culture that's about survival. Our bodies are meant to thrive, but we've created a culture that focuses on survival. We are the descendants of ancestors who survived. We are the descendants of ancestors who were in survival mode, but their survival mode historically was not chronic. Our ancestors went into survival mode readily, like us, when a lion or a tiger was around or when starvation was, was imminent, but unlike us, Unlike their modern descendants, us, they went out of survival mode just as quickly and easily as they went into it. They went into survival mode quickly, but they went into thrival mode just as quickly. That's because, and this is so important to recognize, this is so important. This is, this is the essence of the bright side philosophy, folks. The natural human biological state is rest and digest, relax and sex. That's our natural state, to rest and digest, to relax and have sex, period. Apologies to the, uh, the entire uh, dogmatist and, and, and priestianity, churchianity, we know God better than you mentality that believes that life is supposed to be a struggle. Life is not supposed to be a struggle. And if we get too freaked out about what appears to be struggle, the new world order and corporatism and tyranny and totalitarianism and our evil and twisted and anti-humanity political structure, we are dramatically upping our risks for heart disease, strokes, and aneurysms, and immune diseases, and cancer, and we're shrinking our, ba our brains to boot. If we focus on survival versus thrival, we are shrinking our brains, and we sh we're shrinking our body's ability to heal. For anyone out there who thinks that life is supposed to be a struggle, the fact is our biology tells a different story. Our biology tells us we are at our best, we are at our smartest, we are at our strongest and healthiest and most resistant to disease when we're comfortable and when we are relaxed with just a touch maybe of quick burst stresses that act as stimulus for growth. When our basic survival needs are met with nutrition, with oxygen, with water, we kick into thrival mode, creative mode, intelligent mode, happy mode, growth and repair and anti-aging mode. And every single thing that we like about being alive, every marker of health and wellness depends on activation of this relaxation thrival nervous system. It's called the parasympathetic nervous system. I know it sounds like a big word, but it's so important to understand this. The parasympathetic nervous system, the part of our nervous system that is responsible for relaxation, rest and digest, is responsible for growth, repair, and anti-aging, and everything we like about life. And conversely, every single marker of disease and degeneration from male pattern baldness to acne to cancer, every single one is associated with an overloaded sympathetic nervous system, an overloaded stress nervous system. If you want a pithy, succinct, and essential, and to the point reason for chronic degenerative, or degenerative disease of any kind, this is it folks, long-term chronic activation of the body's emergency response survival system. That's it. That is lurking behind this long-term activation of the sympathetic nervous system is lurking behind all degenerative disease. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll continue this, this discussion when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 
you're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love success stories, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, our number today, our number every day on the bright side, 855-660-4261, 855 855- Six six zero forty two sixty one, and if you want to learn more about the longevity products or join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at eight five uh, eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy. That's eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy. All right, talking about vitamin K for osteoporosis, but vitamin K is important for a lot of things. Vitamin K is important for building. Vitamin K is important for bones because bones breaking down is just a general sign of the body breaking down. We Weak, fragile bones are just another way degeneration shows up. Degeneration is degeneration is degeneration, whether it's in the brain, whether it's Parkinson's, dementia, Bell's palsy, whatever, MS, Guillain-Barre, in the intestines, degeneration is Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis or irritable bowel syndrome. And in the bones, we call it osteoporosis, but it's general degeneration. Bone building strategies are just body building strategies. Bone building strategies are anti degenerative strategies. If you've been listening to The Bright Side and you're thinking, well, he's talking about osteoporosis again, that doesn't have anything to do with me because you don't have officially diagnosed, uh, an official diagnosis of osteoporosis, think again. As long as you have a body, these ideas are important for you. Bone building strategies are anti-aging strategies. Every last supplement that we've talked about in the last couple of months for bone building is important for anti-aging. It's important for, uh, they're important for, for heart health, for liver health, for skin health. Bone building strategies are skin health strategies. Bone building strategies are anti-wrinkle strategies. Bone building strategies are important for building a healthy body. They're important for all the systems in the body. And this is why nutrients like vitamin K have so many features and benefits associated with their use. Last program, we talked about vitamin K's role in protecting against various cancers. Cancer is a classic degenerative breakdown disease. We've talked about vitamin K's role in blood health. And here, too, disruption in the circulatory activity, the circulatory system, the movement of blood and and the movement of fluids are a classic sign of aging and degeneration. Vitamin K is electrical. Vitamin K is an electrical carrier. The electrical nature of vitamin K is what gives it all of its features and benefits. Uh, Vitamin K has a dampening effect on electrical energy. It's like a sponge that can suck up sparks that that throw off cell chemistry. Vitamin K can function as an electrical mop. It traps and it moves electrical energy around the body. This is one of the main reasons that vitamin K is so important for protecting against cancer. In addition to vitamin K's role as an electricity mop, cleaning up rogue sparks, uh, sparks of electrical energy and transporting electrical energy around a cell, vitamin K plays an incredibly important role in calcium chemistry. Calcium and vitamin K go together. We've talked in the past about vitamin D's relationship to calcium, and indeed there are uh, relationships between vitamin D and calcium. Vitamin D allows calcium to get into bone cells. Vitamin D allows calcium to get into all cells. This is very important because calcium does much of its work inside of cells. Calcium is a a cell's best friend. Calcium is like cell food. Cells love calcium. Cells need calcium. Cells thrive on calcium. Cells eat calcium like we eat food. Calcium is cell food. Vitamin D is like a like a, a old Italian grandma saying, manja, eat your pasta, except it's saying, eat your calcium to cells. It feeds cells calcium like your old Italian grandma will feed you pasta. Vitamin D is like a, it, it's a, it feeds cells their most important food. Vitamin K has a completely different way that it works with calcium. Check this out. Throughout your body, you have little tiny chemicals that are incomplete. You can think of them like sad chemicals. They need their chemical soulmate to be completed. And what is it that, that, that acts like these chemical soulmate that completes these sad chemicals, uh, 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 completes the emptiness of these sad chemicals? It's calcium. Calcium completes chemicals. Without calcium, these little chemicals, at least th- these certain magical chemicals, I'll tell you what these are in a minute here. These certain chemicals, these sad chemicals, need to have a little element of calcium in them. Without calcium, they're inactive. They can't do their jobs. 
And the jobs of these, uh, th these chemicals are very, very important. Some of these calcium-dependent chemicals include, uh, some of the roles for these calcium-dependent chemicals include contracting muscle, building bone, making your heart pump, making your brain work. These chemicals are important for keeping your blood clean. These calcium-activated chemicals or calcium-dependent chemicals have little hooks that trap calcium. And without these calcium-trapping hooks, they're as helpless as a fisherman would be uh, with a fishing pole without his hook. A fishing pole without a hook isn't going to catch much fish, and if these chemicals don't have their hooks, they're not going to catch much calcium, and they're not going to be able to do their work. No hooks on these little chemicals means these chemicals are going without calcium. No calcium on these chemicals, and these chemicals are essentially neutral. These are chemicals that contract our muscles. That means without hooks, muscle contraction suffers. Without hooks, heart health suffers. Without hooks, Blood doesn't get cleaned. In fact, almost everything a cell does, whether it's making muscle fibers, whether it's contracting the heart, whether it's firing as a nerve cell, everything a cell needs, almost everything a cell needs is somehow related to these chemical hooks and the ability of these chemicals to catch or trap calcium. Without these hooks, no matter how much protein you're eating, no matter how many supplements you're taking, no matter how many hours in the gym you're spending, you will still not be maximally healthy and you'll still be running higher risks for cancer, heart disease, and all the things we die from. Muscles won't contract, the heart won't pump effectively, your bones will be weaker, and you'll be at a higher risk for every chronic degenerative disease you can name. Heart disease, brain disease, nerve disease, mu uh, muscle pathology, osteoporosis. All of these are associated with hookless calcium-dependent chemicals that can't trap calcium, that can't catch or fish for calcium. So you think these hooks are important? You better believe they are. Even worse, without these hooks, calcium will begin to float around. Without these hooks, these calcium-dependent chemicals can't trap calcium, and now calcium is going to start to accumulate, especially if you're taking calcium supplements or eating lots of dairy or some other calcium-containing food. Without these hooks, these chemicals can't trap calcium. Calcium will start to accumulate. It will start to build up in the blood. When it builds up in the blood, it can leak out into the tissues, calcium floating around in the blood can initiate clots and plaques, it can clog up soft tissues in the heart and the brain and the kidney, it can cause kidney stones. Does this sound like you want these hooks or something that you want to know about? You think it would be a good idea to do everything you could do to help your body make these hooks for these chemicals, for these calcium dependent chemicals? Do you think it's important to help your body make these hooks? By the way, these, these, these chemicals, these calcium-dependent chemicals are all proteins. They're called calcium-dependent proteins. And what if I told you that the key element for making these hooks that trap calcium, that allow these calcium-dependent proteins to do their work, contracting muscle and firing nerve cells and cleaning the blood, what if I told you that all you had to do was take a vitamin to help make these hooks? What if I told you that these hooks were dependent on a vitamin? You think you'd want to take that vitamin? You think you'd want to know about that vitamin? Well, guess what? These hooks are dependent on a vitamin. And taking a vitamin, taking this simple vitamin, can help your body make hooks, which will help your muscles contract and clean your blood, too. Hang tight. We'll finish this up and we come back from a break. And take your phone calls as well. Side. Thank you for joining us, friends. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time. We're talking about vitamin K and its importance for osteoporosis, but it's important for anti importance for anti-aging. In fact, more and more we're understanding that vitamin K is the premier anti-aging vitamin, and in large part this has to do with the fact that vitamin K helps calcium-dependent chemicals, they're proteins, so they're called calcium-dependent proteins, make little hooks. And with these hooks... 
calcium-dependent proteins can hook onto calcium and do their work. These, these uh, proteins that help contract muscle, help your heart work, help your brain work, help everything work, really. These calcium-dependent proteins are activated by calcium. They trap calcium with these little hooks, and it's vitamin K that helps make the hooks. And this is one of the reasons why vitamin K is so darn important when it comes to calcium metabolism, especially to clearing the blood. Today we're understanding that many of the signs, in fact most of the signs of aging have to do with defects in calcium metabolism and vitamin K is one of calcium and calcium dependent proteins best friends. We will continue this discussion tomorrow and then we'll tell you how you can get vitamin K in your system and then we'll move on to our next anabolic building and bone building nutrient, our next anabolic and bone building substance. It's going to be real important. We're probably spending a lot of time on that and that is going to be protein, the importance of dietary protein as well as supplemental protein. We'll do that as we continue talking about anti-aging strategies, bone building strategies, and body building strategies on the bright side. Our number is 855 855 660-4261. Got a couple lines open for you. Let's take our first phone call of the day. Daniel in California. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, sure. Uh, ben Dukes. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been uh, having a little bit of problems with uh, the BTT. I took. I did a little plan where I was having loose stools and I was, my pee was a little too yellow, so I cut off a little bit of the supplements. I kind of went cold turkey on them. Now I figured out that the BTT is causing me to have like my urine to be a little too yellow. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of loose stool. What, okay. what should I do? Uh, a couple things about that. I'm glad you called because I was supposed to talk about BTT and the mercury and all the stuff in there, and I, I'm glad you brought that up. So let me answer your question, then we'll uh, talk a little bit about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is one of my all time favorite nutritional supplement products. Uh, first of all, there's nothing wrong with orange urine. That's just uh, the sign that your body's excreting riboflavin. Riboflavin is vitamin B2, and it means, literally, riboflavin means yellow body. And riboflavin is what gives the B-complex a certain orange-yellow color. And when you're doing the B-complex, you'll find that you're peeing yellow. You're peeing, uh, I'm sorry, you're peeing orange. You're peeing out riboflavin. Uh, it'll either be like a dark yellow or an orangish color. Not a big deal. All it means is that your body's excreting the riboflavin after it's been used or riboflavin that it's not using. So don't worry about the uh, color of your urine. That's not a big deal. What is an issue, however, is the loose stools. That's a sign that you're not absorbing minerals. I know I've said this before, so please bear with me for you guys who've heard me say this because we do have a lot of new listeners, and, and Daniel probably hasn't heard this. So here's the deal, Daniel. When you, uh, when you take in minerals, especially high, dense concentrations of minerals, like you're getting in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, they go through your stomach, and then they go into your uh, small intestine, and that's where they're absorbed. Minerals are absorbed in the small intestine. Intestine. If those minerals are not absorbed in the small intestine, they will continue their journey through the body and they will end up in the large intestine, which is, which is connected to the small intestine. At this point, as they're moving downwards into the uh, large intestine, they are going to pull water with them. This is the body's attempt to dilute the minerals, number one, and minerals in general have this effect on water. Minerals suck up water. That's why municipalities will sprinkle minerals on top of ice to melt the ice. Minerals absorb water. It's just one of the chemical properties that minerals have. So as these minerals are passing through your uh, small intestine, with, if they're not absorbed, that's the key point right there, Daniel, if those minerals are not absorbed, they'll continue through the large intestine. Water will be attracted to those minerals like iron filings are att attracted to a magnet. You'll get this combination of water and minerals in the, in the small, uh, large intestine. Your stools will become watery and you'll experience loose stools or diarrhea. Does that make sense, Daniel? Yeah. Okay, so that's very important because what it tells me is you're not absorbing minerals. And this is very important when it comes to general health and wellness, and it's very important when it comes to anti-aging, and what's very important when it comes to longevity. If you're not absorbing your minerals out of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that means you're not absorbing minerals, period. And that means you're not absorbing minerals if you're taking supplements. That means you're not absorbing minerals if you're using food. That means you're not getting minerals in the blood and in the body, and that is a big, big problem. Big problem. 
Minerals are even more important than vitamins, even more important than, than, than macronutrients. Minerals are fundamental to life. And if you're not absorbing your minerals, which is what that's saying when you have the loose stools, you are in big trouble and you're running risks for all kinds of horrible degenerative diseases. So here's what you want to do. First of all, you want to sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's the first step. You want to take it into uh, to your system in as slow a fashion as possible. In fact, you should always be sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I know a lot of you guys are putting it right in your smoothies or you're doing a, a gulping it right, uh, putting a scoop in water and gulping it on down. It's much better to do your Beyond Tangy Tangerine slowly and throughout the day, even if you don't have absorption problems, but especially if you're experiencing loose stools. Secondly, you want to use your Beyond Tangy Tangerine with, uh, you try to take your Beyond Tangy Tangerine while you have a little bit of food in your stomach, first of all, and you want to make sure that you're practicing all of the absorption techniques that we talk about. For example, stomach acid is very important for the absorption of minerals. If you're not making enough stomach acid, and many people are not, you are, are very likely going to start to experience problems with absorption, with mineral absorption. So make sure you're using things like apple cider vinegar. Make sure you're, you're using your digestive enzymes. Make sure that you're uh, uh, using digestive uh, apple cider vinegar with your digestive enzymes after meals to activate the digestive enzymes. You can actually get something called hydrochloric acid drops. You have to have a pharmacist make that for you, and you need a prescription, but it can help acidify the stomach. You can use something called betaine HCL. You'll find betaine HCL in the ultimate enzymes from longevity. You can also buy extra betaine HCL. And then there's the whole relationship of bile and the liver to absorption of minerals. Many people do not recognize this. Many physicians do not recognize the importance of the bile system, the gallbladder, and the liver for the absorption of minerals. If you have any liver problems, if you've had your gallbladder removed, if you're not making enough bile, all of these will pro cause problems with the absorption of minerals. And once again, minerals are likely to pass through the small intestine into the large intestine. The pancreas is also involved. So if you have any kind of pancreatic issues, if you're a diabetic, if you have pancreatitis, if you have even mild pancreatic compromise, once again, this is going to affect how well minerals are absorbed. So you can use pancreatic enzymes, you can use sodium bicarbonate, maybe a teaspoon in water, a couple hours after meals. You never want to take your sodium bicarbonate with meals because that will neutralize stomach acid, but maybe a couple hours after meals. Uh, use lecithin, which is almost like a bile replacement. If you have anybody who's dealing with gallbladder problems, by the way, make sure that you're using lecithin. The chemical component of lecithin is very similar to bile. Uh, let's see what else you could do. You can actually take bile salts. You can actually buy bile salts. If you're using the ultimate enzymes, you'll get bile in the ultimate enzymes. Hang tight, Daniel. I've got a couple more things I want to tell you, okay? You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, stay there. If you would like to give us a shout, we do have a couple lines open. 855-660-42. On the bright side, talking to Daniel in California. Daniel, you there, my man? Yep. Okay, so here's the deal, Daniel. You're, the, the loose stools are very concerning because they're mean, that tells me you're not absorbing minerals, okay? And that means you want to start doing everything you could do to in, increase the absorption of minerals. If you're, not absorbing the, if you're not absorbing minerals out of the BTT, you're probably not absorbing them out of food, and none of that is good. How old are you? I'm 20, but this, this loose stools only happened yesterday, so yeah. Okay, you're, you're 20? Yeah, twenty. And no other. You're you're in good health. Otherwise, nothing else going on. Yeah. Well, I remember. I don't know if you remember, but I called you a couple months ago. With varicose veins and. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Health. Oh, you're you're the I'm guy that was in Mexico. That was living in Mexico. Is that you? Yeah. Now I'm good. Yeah. How, how you feeling? How's everything working? Did, uh, the well, left side is grade one, and right side uh, there's nothing. Uh, I totally, I think, it, yeah, I got better. Uh, oh well, I good deal. You didn't tell me that. That's yeah. awesome. Well, continue well, on, yeah. Daniel, because there's there's other stuff going on in your body, and you're only 20 years old, so that's not a good sign. Focus on everything I just said about mineral absorption. But here's what I wanted to tell you: if you're not absorbing minerals because you have some kind of a fat malabsorption issue, bile issue, liver issue, maybe a pancreas or stomach acid issue, that means you're not going to absorb fatty vitamins 
either, and that could cause big, big problems uh, in addition to the mineral malabsorption. So really focus on fat absorption, improving fat absorption. That's so important for you, my friend. And the varicose veins, all of this is, is forming a picture of something wrong inside your body. Uh, focus on uh, fat absorption in terms of getting minerals into your system and focus on fat absorption in terms of the fatty vitamins. You may also want to start supplementing with 400 international units of vitamin E, 20,000 inter, uh, 20, international units a day of vitamin A, uh, 5,000 uh, 5, international units a day of vitamin D, although D is best obtained from the sun, and 5,000 micrograms a day of vitamin K2. Hang tight. Uh, listen up tomorrow, I should tell you, uh, and then also Wednesday we'll talk about vitamin K and how you can get more of it in your system, but you're running high risks for malabsorption of all of these vitamins in addition to the mineral problem. All right, Daniel, hope we helped you out, buddy. Got to move on, okay? All right. Take care, buddy. Have a good day. All right, real quick, Al in Canada, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Yes, I have a, a chronic issue that my wife has had to deal with for the last 15 years or so. All right. And that's low absorption of iron. Okay. Doctors and her last checkups so don't know why she can stand up. The iron is that low. Well, how do you know it's not that she's not absorbing iron and that she doesn't have a liver problem? Liver Iron's processed in the liver. Are you sure it's a malabsorption problem or a liver pro not a liver problem? We, we don't know. Okay. And the okay. other co-issue is that she's had alopecia totalis now for about 15 years. Okay, she's got some kind of autoimmune issue, I'm guessing. She probably has a liver problem, too, and a digestive problem. You ever hear the saying, the longest journey begins with a single step? Yeah, That's she's been on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine now for two months, and the hair is starting to come back. Well, that's awesome news. Here's what you want to focus on right away. Stat, immediamente, as soon as you can. The digestive system. She's got to have some kind of digestive problem. Probably runny or loose stools, no? Uh, no, um... Normal. She says they're completely normal. All the time? She goes regularly? Yeah, she ha occasionally will have a, a session of loose stools. Uh, it sounds like that's more than occasional, but here's what you want to do. And again, I'm not saying this because I want to beat up on anybody or make her wrong or make her feel bad about herself, but without correcting this, she's not going to be able to correct the iron. The BTT helping is a very good sign. So continue on the BTT, but really start focusing on the digestive system. I'd be putting on, on a good probiotic supplement as soon as possible. You know I love that nightly essence from longevity. Get her on that. Start to see if you can connect pro, uh, uh, digestive problems to foods and then eliminate those foods. To have her spend a couple of weeks keeping track of every single digestive issue she can think of, from heartburn to gas to bloating to the loose stools, anything. And then link those up to foods and then eliminate those foods. I hesitate to just tell you to take an iron supplement because if she's not processing iron, she could have an issue. I'd much rather she was focusing on the liver, which is the main iron processing organ in the body, and there's wonderful nutrients that you can use for the liver, uh, but the digestive system is really going to be the most important uh, thing that you want to focus on. The ultimate enzymes, the Longevity's ultimate enzymes are a great enzyme product. You want to use those after meals. The Z-radical can be very helpful for the digestive system. She may want to start taking some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts, and she may want to uh, throw in some betaine HCL. That's what we were talking about with Daniel earlier. Betaine HCL helps acidify the stomach, and of course, you always want to keep her on, uh, uh, just have her getting a, a good multiple vitamin like the Ultimate Daily so she gets her minimum wage of good nutrients. So a couple things uh, that you want to focus on. First thing is the digestive system. Second thing is the liver. Uh, and then the third thing that you're going to want to focus on is uh, overall nutrition, such as uh, overall multiple vitamin like the Ultimate Daily and absolutely keep her on that Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But you're going to need to stay in touch with me because it sounds like your wife's a work in progress. I would be focusing more on the liver and on the uh, digestive system than taking iron supplements if that's what you're if you're thinking of using iron supplements does that help yes thanks uh, thank you hormonal balancer uh, say that one more time the hormonal balancer from healthy woman um uh, i wouldn't go there just yet although how old is your wife she's 52 oh is she in menopause or at past menopause I'm not in it yet. 
She's not in it yet. Okay, well, that's, that's awesome. No, instead of the hormone balancer, you probably should get her on the essential fatty acids and the healthy start pack first. These, the hormone balancer and some of these extra products that are, uh, they're like satellite products. They surround the core. You got a core of products, and that's the Mighty 90. I really, really want to focus on not just fat absorption and not just the liver, but also fatty nutrients uh, if she isn't in menopause yet because she's going into menopause. And once a woman goes into menopause, her ability to start processing fats becomes compromised even further if, she, if it's already compromised. So all those digestive support supplements that we just talked about, the ultimate enzymes, the Z-radical and the probiotics, and the ultimate daily for all-around nutritional support. But just like with Daniel earlier, that we, the guy we just talked to, focus on those fatty vitamins, especially vitamin K. So, so important for calcium metabolism. Without calcium, almost every system in the body is going to be working less efficiently. And if she's not absorbing fats, if she's got some kind of liver problem and it's going to get worse as she goes into menopause, she's at high risk for problems utilizing calcium uh, secondary to vitamin K deficiency. Get her on 5,000 micrograms of vitamin K2. Uh, and there's, listen up tomorrow and the next day we'll talk about foods that you can use to get vitamin K. Uh, vitamin E and A wouldn't hurt either. Uh, if she really wants to support hormones, and all women, if you really are interested in supporting your hormones as you go into menopause, you're much, much better off using progesterone, either in a cream format. Actually, I prefer the cream format. It's a little bit easier on the body. Or pregnenolone, and that's spelled P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, -E, pregnenolone, 100 milligrams. Uh, Got to move on. Uh, Al, uh, if you have any other questions, send me an email. To, uh, send a, uh, a letter to brightsideletters at gmail.com, brightsideletters at gmail.com. Okay, Al? Appreciate it, Ben. Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. God bless you out there in Canada. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the whole idea of these minerals in uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I know periodically we do this, maybe every, once every few months I'll tell you about uh, the minerals in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the minerals in Beyond Tangy Tangerine come from the earth. They come from plants. That's thus the name plant-derived minerals. Plants have an ability to take stuff from the earth and process them so they are non-toxic. They process these minerals so they're water-soluble. They create these complexes out of uh, aluminum and lead and mercury, and not to mention calcium and sel uh, selenium and potassium and all of the minerals. This is what plants do. They have an ability to take uh, minerals from the earth, which include mercury, folks, which includes lead, folks, which includes arsenic, folks. This is all in the earth. When people are thinking about heavy metals, what they're thinking about is industrial metals. These are toxic. The minerals that are produced and, and processed by plants out of the earth are in a, a form called colloidal. That means they're protected. That means they're organic. That means they're attached to molecules like carbon and proteins that creates and renders these minerals non-toxic. Non-toxic. The reason we have to even put mercury in lead is because of uh, some kind of proposition, I think Prop 69 or Prop 13 in California that mandates such labeling, but it's not the same kind of toxic minerals as heavy metals. I would not be sitting here promoting a product that had heavy metals and that was toxic for you. I have seen the most incredible results with this Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and I've seen these results for 17 years. I take the stuff myself, and if I'm telling you this stuff is powerful and this stuff is important and this stuff is in your health interest, I know what I'm talking about. So please do not be bamboozled by any misinformation that's out there on the internet, by any misinformation that's being promoted by biochemically ignorant marketing people who are telling you about heavy metals and beyond tangy tangerine or any kind of toxicity and stuff. All right, I hope that explains that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. I'm sorry if we left you on hold. You've got to get on board early on the bright side. If you're interested in learning more about the Longevity products, head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or you can check out my blog, Pharmacist.